Hello everyone, welcome to TechTood. In this lecture, we will be understanding select operation in SQL. So, till now what we have done is we created table, okay, and then we have learned how to insert values in these tables, okay. Fine. So now we have a table where we have some values. Now what we need to do is whenever required, we need to retrieve value from it. Okay, so to retrieve stored value from a table, we use select. So let's understand the syntax of select query. So we write select, okay, and then attributes. So from table, if I want to fetch attribute one and attribute two, we will write attribute one, attribute two. Similarly, we will write down all the attributes which I want to list, then from table these are table names so we can fetch attribute or the value for attributes from one table or more than one table okay and then where some conditions okay so here this is c is single condition or multiple conditions combined with logical op operators like or and etc so this is the basic syntax of sql select now let's write a simple sql select query so in this query we are selecting name from employee so select name from employee where the condition condition is that sal salary should be greater than 30000 okay so this query this query will list down all the employee names whose salary is greater than 30,000 from table employee okay now let's see how it how it reacts or how this uh, query works when we have multiple tables now in this query we are selecting employee name and department of the employee okay so employee name so employee dot name means name attribute this is attribute and this is from table okay so name attribute from employee table and this is name attribute from depend uh, department table from employee comma department okay where salary is greater than 30000 so what it will do it will select the name employee name and department name for the employee whose salary is greater than 30,000 okay so now let's try to map this SQL query with relational algebra so what would be the relational algebraic expression equivalent to this given query so as you can see here first of all we have two tables or two relations employee and department so there will be a cross product between employee and department fine now we are doing some selection okay selection and what is the selection condition that is salary should be greater than 30,000 fine and afterwards we are doing some project operation okay and what we are projecting we are projecting only employee name and department name okay so we are projecting employee dot name and department dot name fine so this is equivalent relational algebraic expression for this query now in general in a sql select query what would be the relational algebraic expression that would be r1 cross r2 let's say we have multiple relations okay and then we will select on the basis of condition C and then we will have project operation project of attribute 1 attribute 2 etc okay so this is the equivalent I mean in general equivalent 
relational algebraic expression. So a few important things which we have already discussed that is first one is that the query which we are writing is case insensitive okay so case so the queries are case insensitive okay it means that whether we write select or we write select full capital it doesn't matter okay now the next thing is that we know in relational algebra whatever we are getting in output is a set fine so as it is a set it will not be having any duplicate value right but in case of sql we may get duplicate rows and i mean let's understand what are what are the cases on what what can be the case when we can get duplicate rows let's say we have employee table again and we have id name salary so we have one a 30k so for this given table if the query is select name and salary of employee that is from employee where salary is greater than 30k so what will be the output so as you can see for this record salary is 20k which is less than 30k so this will not be selected apart from it all the three records will be selected but we have to display only name and salary so the output will be a 30k b 40k then a 30k okay so now here you can clearly see that these two records these two rows are identical okay so in sql we will have these kind of situation where we will get identical rows okay so we can get duplicate in sql so it clearly means that the output is not a set okay now the question is what if i want to display only distinct values or only unique record so in that case we will use the keyword distinct so to display the distinct record we will use the keyword distinct and now the query will be so we will write select distinct name salary from employee where salary is greater than 30k so everything is as the previous query just we are using this distinct keyword okay so once we use this distinct keyword this extra row this extra row which is duplicate of the previous one will be eliminated and we will get only these two row as output okay and you can see these two rows are not identical okay so we will get distinct record when we use distinct keyword so it was all about this lecture so in the next lecture we will be doing hands on practice on writing select sql query using uh, our terminal and we will be using the database which we have imported in earlier lecture so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching